Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the Word. The Bible says, do not be conformed from this outside pressure, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This word transformed in the Greek comes from the metamorpho, which we derive our English word metamorphosis. It's a change that happens not from the outside, but from the inside out. Y'all follow with me? Say amen. amen. The change happens on the inside, but it will manifest on the outside. There's an exterior exchange. The outside look. All right, let me step to our culture here for a minute. Talk to the sisters for a hot minute here, right? When Jesus comes in and you got the Holy Spirit, you're not all over Facebook showing everything. Because there's an inside transformation that should be manifesting on the outside. Come on, if my sister's got that, say amen. amen. Now to the brothers. When you got the Holy Spirit in you, you don't walk around downtown with your drills. Nobody wants to see your fruit of the looms. I don't understand that, honestly. Brothers walk around, can't even walk holding their pants up. Belts are on sale at Walmart, they're about 10 bucks. I'll gladly, I'll even buy you a reversible one so it'll be two colors for you. But see, church, listen. From the inside, the Holy Spirit is working. We are being transformed into the image of God. Amen. Is there anybody here that's thankful you're changed today? Come on. Now, one of the most common analogies of a metamorphosis is the changing of a tadpole to a frog. We're going to do a little biology 101 here this morning for you. How many of you know that Jesus used natural examples to teach supernatural principles? Yeah. Yeah. Now watch this. How many of you are familiar with a tadpole and a frog? Everybody understand the metamorphosis, right? Begins as a tadpole, turns into a frog. You know once it becomes a tadpole, there's no, or once it becomes a frog, there's no going back. I just said something there, y'all. <laughs> Once you're saved, honey, yeah. there ain't no going back. The frog has completely changed its character. It's gone through a metamorphosis. It's gone through a transformation, not from the outside in, but from the inside out. The tadpole is no longer even recognizable because now it's a different creature. I'm preaching. Somebody speak to me this morning. And when it changes, watch, it receives a new name. It's no longer identified as a tadpole. It's a frog. It has a new name. It has a new identity. Do you not realize that the day you were born again, you received a new name in heaven. You received a new identity. Somebody in the house needs to thank God. That frog no longer has a tail dragging behind it. Ha! Other tadpoles may see their old friend. Now a frog and now, hey, where'd your tail go? 
The frog answers, it must have fallen off somewhere along the way. We're talking about changing, y'all. We're talking about moving on from glory to glory. See, your friends might see you 10 years later. Hey, where'd that addiction go? I remember when you used to party like nobody's business. Uh, uh, whoops. It must have fallen. I know you when you used to cuss like a sailor. Now you're praising God. What happened? Whoops. It must have fallen off. I remember when you used to drink the whole bar under the table. Now you're drinking ginger ale. What happened? Whoops. Come on, does somebody hear what I'm saying in here this morning? You used to get mad at every little thing. Now you're so patient. Where did all that anger go? Whoops. Must have fallen off somewhere along the way. Saints of God, we go from hell to holiness from the inside out. Somebody give God a praise for the Holy Spirit. to proclaim